Diamond Dave is back with another interpretation of a Van Halen classic, this one being Jump from their 1984 album. Um, heard it yesterday for the first time. I did not like it um, upon the first listen. I thought it was a very bad karaoke version of this song and just didn't gravitate to it. Listened to it a second time, enjoyed it, went back a third time, and this is where it started to click where my dissatisfaction with the song is. I know Jump from the 1984 album, and I know it that way. I've played it 6,000 or 6 million times by now, and it sounds a certain way in my head. And now that his vocal delivery is quite different now, regardless if it's his vocal capabilities, his age, whatever the case is, or just maybe in his mindset, the way he wants to tackle the song is not the way I know it. And I think there's the struggle for me. Because then when he starts saying, I'm, in my head it's playing already, the jump that I know from the record, and I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. And then I stop and I have to pay attention and go, wait a minute. That's not the way it goes. That's not. And I think that's what's ruining this experience with the songs. With the song, excuse me. It's his vocal delivery on the lyrics. It's still a going back. It's a decent take on it. I mean, his. I, I don't tell me his voice is good on here, as good as it is. Um, it's just like I said, the delivery. That's my thing. I, like I said, I hear it one way in the head, and I'm as I'm listening to it, so I keep stopping myself, going, and I do this. I give this weird look, and I'm, you know, one of these. But all in all, it's it's a decent take on it. You know, I hope he does go out on tour with Sammy Hagar. I think we really do need a, a tribute to Eddie Van Halen and no better guy to do it than Roth and Hagar. You know, the, the two lead singers. And Christ, I'd, I'd say bring Gary Schroen in to do at least one song. He, he was he was a singer. There's only three singers in Van Halen. He's one of them. He should have a, you know, a go and let him do one song at least. Maybe without you. I like that song. I always like that single. If you listen to the single, uh, Eddie's playing is is phenomenal on there. He's I think he sounds re he's playing he's playing happy. Is that if that makes any sense? He feels lifted from whatever he struggles he was going through with the other two lead singers at the time. So I'd like Gary Schroen to participate. Of course, Michael Anthony, and of course, again, his brother Alex. It would be fantastic if he'd be involved and. Um, I'd be a great uh, seal of approval if his brother would be there. But I think it's just too hard for him to do, and I understand that. But back to the song, I think it's a decent take on it. Again, my only issue is the vocal delivery, how he's changed the way he says it, kind of hurts the song for me. I still, I still think it's decent, but I know it one way. You know what I mean? I know it that one way from the album. So, but that's my take on it. You let me know what you think of the song. Do you like it? Not like it? Should Roth even bother singing anymore? Do you think he's over? Should he go on the tour with, with Hagar? What do you think? Or is this going to be a fiasco? Like to hear from you. If you can, hit that like button and subscribe. And hopefully you get more videos that you like from us, right? This is Steven from the Around Table with my initial take on the new version of Jump from David Lee Roth.